trying to give you a little better shot than the last time. Like I said, I'm still working on it. <clears throat> the other ones, I just kept playing and playing and playing, but they're not even dry yet. Um, I figured I'd just go ahead and do another video because I am still not tired. And I wanted to try a different kind of dip technique. And hopefully this one turns out better. <laughs> you never know. I'd like to do it on the bigger tile and on the smaller tile. And I'm debating on doing it a bigger tile first and seeing how that comes out. Put a couple of these things away that's in my way here. And I have not flooded this yet, so I'm going to need to go ahead and put down my white, which is mixed the same way as the last video. Three parts Floetrol, one part Artist Loft. I just get it on there. I should probably be using my spatula for this. And the colors, while I'm doing this, that I'm going to attempt to use today will be an eggplant. I'll show you them in a minute. I should just dump this out here. It looks more like a, a pillow versus a... Regular paint. Looks like a pillow top. And I'm sorry, I noticed on the last video that, uh, you know, I do have breathing issues, so. And I'm sorry if it's way, if I'm breathing, oops. Just a little too hard for everybody. It's It just is what it is. Uh, it's nothing I can help. Okay. I'm going to be using eggplant. Mm, still seems like it's a little thick. Which is, they're all mixed. Three parts Floetrol to one part paint. That's what I'm using, the Folk Art eggplant. Then we have this cute pink one right here. Which is uh, the Pink Polish from Apple Barrel. This one is the turquoise from Apple Barrel. I just think that's so pretty. It may be too thick for this, but that's a pretty color. And then we have another Apple Barrel, bright magenta. And if you're wondering what the blue is on the stick, yes, I redo, I do reuse my sticks. After they dry, it's not a problem. It paint won't mix. Um, and then I have which you cannot see, uh, Folk Art Metallic Silver Sterling, which is this one right here. Now, I think instead of using white, I'm a little weary of the silver because it may, I don't know, I just don't want it to muck up and look a little uh, muddy. So, I said, this is going to be a little different one, so bear with me. Um, if all else fails, I may have to just, when I do the smaller ones, I'll do the same thing and maybe just speed it up so you can watch the process and then the end result. And the video is not that long, so. And look at this crazy color that was made of the last, the last pour I did. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. If it's 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 a weird looking purple, but it's got a lot of metallics in it. Um, I think I'm gonna hang on to that. I should have hung on to the rest of it. You never know. Might be just the perfect color. Sometimes the best colors are the ones you mix up. Okay. What color do I want to start with? We can go. Mm, we'll start with the purple. 
I really can't wait to get squeeze bottles, seriously. Then I might be able to control it a whole lot better. Yeah, it's looking like it's just a little too thick in there. Yeah. And we'll see how it turns out. If I have to scrape it, then, you know, you do what you got to do, right? And it's not even in the middle. <laughs> All right, let's see. Mm. Let me put the darker pink over it, the magenta. I think I need the... Uh, Different, um, oh, come on. Different, uh, popsicle sticks. I need help here. Couldn't figure out what I was talking about. Because I'm afraid that if I tip it over, I'm going to just have way, way too much coming out. And it just might, like I said, be a little, whoa, what is that? Oh, well, here we go. Making a mess already. Yay. All right. Mm. Seriously. I'm already messing this up, not liking it too much. It's not centered. I don't know. And I'm just making a great big mess everywhere. I think I'm making it worse. Hey, maybe I should just keep this up. Come to think of it, it's other than I'm uh, scraping quite a bit of it out. I wonder what this is going to do to it. You never know. I can just play. Whatever. Ain't that the game? Play. Crazy looking, huh? Probably taking way too much paint off. What color have I not used yet? The pink. And I think I scraped way too much. That's probably not a good thing. The light pink. Maybe I'll just do the silver. These long lines. Maybe it'll salvage something. Either way, it's recorded, so if I screw up, I'll know not to do it again. <laughs> but if it looks good, I'll know to try it again. I think I lost a lot of purple. I like the darker colors better than the lighter colors, so let's see if I can drag a little bit of this pink out here. I mean, this magenta, sorry. That's plenty there. Oop. Loving the mess. I used to love making stuff when I was a kid. Finger painting was just my favorite. I loved it. Making a mess was wonderful. I think I missed a spot right there. Okay. Out of order again. Drag some of that purple. Or not drag it. Put some more down. The 
This is so not turning out how I thought it was going to. This was not the plan, guys. Not the plan at all. But if I can make... Ugh, really? Seriously? Seriously now. If I can make this work, then wow. Anybody can make it work. <laughs> this is really lovely. Um... <sighs> the little circle here. Mm, not what I was going to do. I don't think I could do this, guys, if I tried again. I really don't. I know a lot of people don't care for white. I want a little bit of white drizzled in there. Just shoot it across because obviously I've made a mess. So maybe it'll wind up becoming a pretty mess. Okay. Oh, wrong one. What in the world? Okay, I'm missing a very important piece to finish this. There it is. I'm on my way back, guys. I hate leaving. I should have it together. All right. Trust me, if this does not come out the way I plan, I will scrape it and redo it. <laughs> Which, I don't know if you guys have had the patience, so I may have to redo the video. hopes that I don't have to record it 20 times to get it to come out right. I'd rather show you that it is so easy to muck something up and have to turn around and redo it, you know, or the possibility of it coming out beautiful is a thing, guys. It is a thing. Been more careful. Like I said, this is my first attempt with this, and I'm seeing air bubbles. You do not want to push down hard on this, just kind of, you know, try and get your air bubbles out, make sure it's down, which, make sure it's all touching the surface. And there's air bubbles. Oh, don't lift it up. That is a no-no. And some people can just make these look so, so easy. And I'm sure after I do them a couple times, I will may even feel the same. Okay, guys, no gloves on. Forgot my gloves. Two ways I can do this. I can take and flip the whole thing upside down, or I can take and just peel it up corner by corner. And I think corner by corner is going to be the trick tonight because flipping it over and taping it down, probably not so good with the kind of uh, wrap I'm using. So here goes. Whoa, that's... Crazy interesting. Crazy interesting there. I kind of didn't want it all over the place, but hey, it seems like there's just a little too much white for my liking, and it's not centered, but I may have enough. I should have set it on something. I should be able to move this around a little bit and hopefully try to bring it back a little bit more, center it up a little bit. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't want it too far out of whack. And see, it's off on one side, colorful on one side, and 
My little grays took over on the other side a little bit. Right here, the grays took over. Over here, it's pretty. I have a lot of grays over here. A lot. Let's see if I can torch it and something else happen here in the mix. Okay. Don't tell me I'm out of fluid already. Guys, I'm telling you, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm going to have to fill this up. So I can get it to work. <clears throat> Pop any bubbles or see if there is any uh, more cells that would like to show up. not realize how fast I could actually go through this. Oh, me, oh my. Okay. Wash my hands off. Now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know, those other ones I done, some pretty colors came out after I just let it dry. So, here we go. Oh, I'm loving it. It's like the cells are better. Oh, really? Come on. I don't think my torch likes me. I like it, but it don't like me too well. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. I almost would love to pull it around and play with it, but I'm not sure if I have enough paint on there to do that. I would love to, because I'm really loving those colors together. I think I'm gonna do this uh, again use these colors again probably several times there's a hair in there looks more like an eyelash okay best thing to do never paint without tweezers i'm liking this guys i'm really liking this and i really need to put some gloves on Put some gloves on, then I'll bring it up. A closer view of it so you can see what I see going on here. Like I said, I just may uh, try to shift this paint around a little bit and spread all that out because I'm liking what I'm seeing. I need to put a cup under it as well because this just should not do this. Mmm. Don't drop it. Okay, guys. Can you see those little cells in here? Aren't they pretty? Popping up all nice. I know you're probably getting a glare. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Let's put a cup down. I'm going to try to roll it around a little bit. Those cells look lovely. There's, I mean, they look like little balloons. And I'm just going to stretch it and try to get rid of some of the silver over here that has just seemed to want to take up everything on this side. Maybe I should have added more paint. Oh, yeah, we're getting loose here. And if you need to, just kind of help it out a little bit. I don't know if you're in, in view. I'll bring that back. Now, like I said, there's not a whole, whole lot of paint, but still it's moving, and that's what we want. I'm trying to bring that back to center. Stretching them out. 
try to get rid of some of this void over here. And I don't mind my white space at all. I just want to spread this out a little bit and it's not trying to go over. And I'm hoping you're in the camera. I got a good view on it. I don't think there's really just not enough paint. Unless I go super, super slow, a little bit of help. A little bit of help goes a long way. Um, I don't want to lose the pretties. And like I said, I don't want to overstretch. It needs, really needs to come back. Yeah, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to do this with more paint. Alrighty. Come on back. Come on back. Those require quite a bit of patience <clears throat> when you're rocking it back and forth. It's coming out pretty interesting. The lines are no longer the same kind of lines. But I like it. If I had more paint coverage, I would love it to go end to end. Um, but um, I may I have to just quit playing with it. Come on. Trying to help it out here a little bit. I kind of like it at just down there at the bottom like that. It's pretty. At that angle that you see it right there. No, no, let me turn it around. Let me see what I think about it. Um, it's pretty cool. I think all my cells are pretty much stretched out wonky. Except for one or two of them. Maybe I'll bring it oops, back to center a little bit. I'm really going to have to work on the sides. It's difficult when you have nothing to hold on to. I don't know if it's trying to come back there or not. Yeah, it's trying to center again. I think I like it. I really, really think I like it. I'm going to have to touch these sides up because there was not enough paint. And that's going to have to be white paint. Let me get a little white on my finger. Put it on my finger and then it drips down. Right there, a little touch up. Right here I'm touching it everywhere. I'm really liking the drips. The drips that managed to stay on there look great. Where my finger didn't pull them off, here's another white spot. Which I'm sure I can touch that up later. Spin it around. Take a quick look at a, oh, there's another bare spot. Here's some white. And I know I can mess with this later. I have one currently that I did with the first trial and error of a video. The sides just, I didn't realize how they rolled. And I was very surprised at how much paint actually came off of the side as it dried. Was hoping not to have that problem. But 
You think I like this? See if we can find anything else in there that wants to come out. And hopefully no over torching. There's a little cell there. This is just wonderful. It looks like I'm missing a little paint right here. I don't know if that's paint missing. It's hard to tell in this lighting. I really need some good studio lighting. Yes, that looks like some paint. Like I stuck my finger in there and some paint decided to come up missing. Mm. Please don't mess it up. It does look a little different, but uh, I guess it's looking a lot different. Try to mess it a little bit and get rid of that. Uh, So much difficulty there. Okay. Maybe I just take some of that off and just add some white. And maybe that'll be a little more um Closer to the rest of it. Sorry if you can't hear me. I usually do talk pretty loud. Really usually. <laughs> yeah, really do. This is a bubble. It's in there. I think it looks better now. And I will touch up any sides later. And I'm going to leave this to dry. And see how uh, it comes out once it's dry. Because I'm really seeing the, the purple, the eggplant, and the magenta really climb out there. I kind of wish I had a little more turquoise and a lot less of the silver. So... I'm going to... Uh...